this great and amazing platform of learning. It is well said that dreaming big is always a good way to go about things. So with special excitement, I am pleased to welcome Ms. Yashi Julka on behalf of the entire team of Aircrew Aviation Private Limited and Asiatic International Business Academy. It is an honor for me to introduce our special guest of the day in the International Webinar 2020. Ms. Yashi Julka is a certified depression counselor and pursuing her diploma in NLP practitioner and NLP life coach. She believes in the famous quote given by Venus Williams that you have to believe in yourself when, when no one else does. That makes you a winner right there. She is also pursuing MBA and MA from Indira Gandhi National Open University. Thank you so much for joining us. Now it's all up to you, Ms. Yashi. Thank you so much. Thank you for such a beautiful invitation. And thank you, Captain Shaker, for inviting me for this uh, webinar. So the topic for the today is that I want to cover is self-love is the best love. So as I'm already introduced, uh, my name is Yashi Jalka and I will be taking on this webinar. So I hope it will not be boring. Uh, first of all, uh, am I audible? Uh, yes, you're audible. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we'll, uh, so... It is all about me, like I'm already introduced, but yeah, it is all about me. Also, you can uh, follow me on social medias like LinkedIn and Facebook. And I firmly believe that you have to believe in yourself when nobody else does. And that makes you winner right there. If you will not believe, then nobody else will believe. And your confidence level will actually go really down. So yeah, with that quote, we'll start the session. So the next quote also, again, there is a quote is, love your life and live it without competing with the next person so that you can be the best person in the world has ever had. So here are a few um, key terms, like love your life. You have to love yourself and your life as well. Then without competing, don't think about other person. It's a norm, natural tendency. It's a normal tendency that we will think, like, okay, this person is better than me. Okay, this person is better than me. But we don't have to think. Instead, you have to focus on yourself. Don't compete with anybody. Then the next thing is, Nick, um, you're the best person in the world has ever had. Actually, if you will not compete with anybody and you will focus on yourself, you will, you know, improve your skills. You will improve your personality. And that will make you the best person on the world. So here I have a few uh, pictures that is first is I love me. Obviously, uh, you have to love yourself. Then the second is best project is you will work on is you. Now uh, you might have got many projects in your college, in your university, in your internship also you might be here as well. So we all like want to give our best in the project, right? So see this is i'm telling you the best project it is you so when you tell when you are like okay this is the best project you will obviously give your 110 percent so you have to give your 110 percent then the next one is says that loving yourself starts with liking yourself which starts with respecting yourself actually if you want to love yourself first of all first step is you have to like yourself and then you have to respect yourself you have to trust your instincts you have to trust what you think and obviously in positive ways. Okay, so enough. Now we'll talk about what is self-care. Sorry, what is self-love? Okay, so self-love is an appreciation for oneself that grows, uh, that grows from actions that support our physical, psychological, and spiritual growth. Self-love is like, it's not one thing that will grow you physically. It will also, that will help you grow psychologically. It will help you grow mentally. It will help you grow spiritually. Self-love, means actually it means that having regard for your own self like if you if you say something you know appreciate yourself it's a very small thing but you you have to do it you have to really like even if it was really small thing also you said you'll be like okay i'm really nice i said this thing very nicely then also then the here is a point that says self-love means not settling for less than you deserve 
obviously you know yourself better than anyone else obviously in love we says that i love you better i love you know i love you so i know you better than you but in reality it doesn't happen in reality actually you are the one that you know yourself best so you will you know judge only that uh, if what you actually deserve so don't settle for less settle for that thing that you actually deserve don't settle for less that is also self love also i would like to say that uh, for self love it is not there is no uniform or there is no standard way we will be discussing like what can be the way or what can be the steps how a person can you know express the self love self love towards self love towards um, oneself but let me tell you there is no uniform way okay now enough about the actual definition i just talked about the actual definition of self love but now i will talk about simple definition because okay fine we admit it it's quite boring also when we actually read the you know um, official and definition and also a quite like uh, you know you have to read it again and again so we'll now just understand this term in this in simpler terms okay so the first is self love means taking care of your own needs and not sacrificing your well being to please others self love is nothing self love is just taking care of your own needs of your own happiness and to take care of you what you need of what you want not i have, just don't have that mindset that okay i have to please that person that's why i will do this thing don't have this then also uh, self love is not something that happens occasionally it happens on daily basis now i would like to ask a question from you guys uh, please unmute and answer me uh, can you guess a few examples of how can it be shown like obviously we understood we read about it we learned about it like what is self love but okay also we have to do it on day to day basis also it's not something that a very new concept so can you guess a few ways how it can be shown please unmute and tell okay so actually self love is a very simple thing and we can show it in very simple ways also like talking and talking to and about yourself with love you know it usually happens it's a human tendency that we say that okay i did uh, this thing but i was wrong i guess i was not right i i didn't do it correctly i never do anything correctly don't do all these things just respect yourself trust yourself and love yourself whatever you say just love yourself then second way is very simpler ways prioritize yourself seriously above all the things prioritize yourself all the things are very important like your work is very important other people in your life are very important i admit that but don't forget that if you are not there if your happiness is not there you will not be able to do the work you will not be able to be with you know your family so please please prioritize yourself and also one more thing i understand like all the managers you know like all the professionals have a lot of work to do so they might be thinking like we don't have enough time to prioritize but you need to do and that is why i chose this topic because you know in all the in nowadays we are like so much busy in our you know daily life daily work like we have actually forgotten that what we are so please prioritize yourself and a very simple thing which can be a little boring also but yeah it is very effective it is that you can you know take a note of all the things that you have to do that you want to do and then you need then you can you know prioritize you know you can prioritize or else if you want to make it more you know like or if else if you want to make more uh, interactive or more you know visualize you want then uh, you can go for that uh, slips or that color charts at you can uh, you, you can cut the color chart this uh, like how much priority they have then giving yourself a break from self uh, self judgment so i just mentioned that we usually judge ourselves before that other person will judge us we judge ourselves 
we will not even wait that okay what other person is saying about us and it's like sometimes i think like why why this happens and i won't say that i'm a perfect person i didn't never judge myself it's a normal human tendency every person do this every person every human being so but we de- we should not judge ourselves and we should actually give us a break also not from the self judgment also you should take a break from your work what you are doing it is being said that if you work for a week just take one day off and that is the reason we have sunday offs in usually in office we have at least one day in seven days that is actually necessary for your mental health and that is actually necessary for your peace so the next is trusting yourself as i said being true to yourself being nice to yourself and uh, yeah and setting healthy boundaries exactly the same thing came i know there's a lot of things to do we don't have time but we should not forget that the food we eat is very much important to us so yeah take care of that as well and the last and very important point which is very simple but really really important is forgiving yourself i mean like we always say you know that okay forgive others forget this thing it's okay forgive others it's very nice but above that it's important to forgive yourself it's very nice to forgive others but forgive yourself don't have this guilt that okay i didn't do this thing at that time okay i didn't do that don't have this guilt forgive yourself accept yourself be true to yourself be nice to yourself also by this picture that i have here i just it's uh, it's very small so you will not be able to read uh, it's uh, actually i will read for you, read for you guys it's written i am the hero of my own life so you must have uh, like uh, you know you must watch movies obviously plot is very important is very very much important we uh, you know we judge the movie on the basis of its plot plot only but it also depends upon the actor upon the acting skills and we say okay the movie is very nice because the acting was very nice we say the movie was very nice because the hero was very nice so same thing is here you know this is your life and you are the hero of your life do it in a perfect way do it at your best so that your life can be best okay so as i said earlier that uh, for a few like it may be different it's not uh, you know uniform there is no uniform way there is no standardized way so for somebody for some people self love is self care which is very nice also so now we will uh, actually talk about how we can practice self care and uh, it is a very normal thing like self care but uh, to read about it let's go to the basics okay so first thing the very very first thing is listen to your body i mean uh, whatever you do your body will give you signals your body will give you you know will tell you if you are right or if you are wrong if you are sleeping at late at the night your body will tell you if you are not you know eating properly your body will tell you if you are eating properly your body will tell you so don't neglect your body always listen to your body and that is the first step towards self care and trust me self care if you are uh, you know focusing on self care then you are focusing on self love as well uh, then second is take breaks from work and move stretch obviously i just mentioned this thing you have to take break it's very nice to work but you can't work continuously you need to take some break and as i said at least one day you know in 7 days at least okay now the third is put the phone down and connect to yourself or others or do something creative i know it is very 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 difficult it is almost impossible especially <laughs> nowadays very when, good especially nowadays when uh, you know this pandemic is all going on so up till this vaccine for corona is will come our vaccine for corona is actually our mobile phone Look, I admit this thing. All our work, our classes, our studies, everything is on mobile phone. I understand, but it is very much necessary to put your phone down, like at least one hour before the sleep. It's okay. Just put it, put it down. Disconnect yourself from the world and spend your spend some time with yourself or do some creative work. That will actually help you. 
also you know um, that's my personal experience that uh, when we wake up now uh, if you uh, take the mobile immediately after waking up your day will be ruined i don't know if it happens with everybody but it happens with me i need at least one hour after waking up so that i can be like normal i can have all the peace and i can you know be ready for the work for the day i don't know if it happens with everybody but yeah, i think like before sleeping also i want one hour and after waking up also i need one hour without mobile because mobile phone is some yeah tension then next is eating healthily uh, healthily but sometimes indulge in your favorite foods i won't say that you don't uh, you know indulge in your favorite food or you just you know it's okay just give up on your favorite food go, don't go to a restaurant don't do anything just stick to healthy food or home food i won't say that obviously okay that is i understand that is not possible but you know mostly eat healthy food okay it's okay it once in a while you went outside and had you know food that's okay but not daily so now actually now i have a question for you we all like to spread the love see you know even from i think from past 10 minutes also i am saying that okay love is very nice you need to spread the love spread is um, i mean love is so good and you might have also heard this thing that love is actually very nice we should love each other we should not hate but the question here is are we so much busy in you know is producing the love for others or are we producing enough for our own self are we actually forgetting this thing like really what are we doing so my uh, suggestion is love others do everything but don't forget yourself also i would like to hear um, someone's story or someone thing if you tell like how you uh, practice this self love if you do i will really love to hear that uh ma'am i am audible yeah you are audible uh ma'am actually i felt very motivated by your slides and by your speech uh one thing ma'am what i remember about myself was that uh, from the school days there are many people but there are more people who criticize others than loving others right so at a point of time i was very depressed and uh, basically i lost my will to do anything i had no motivation at all but then i realized something that i need to love myself and for that what i did was to practice self love in front of a mirror so this was my routine ma'am that whenever i wake up i get in front of the mirror and then tell myself that my worth is not lost i am worthy enough i can do anything what i feel like if i want to be uh, a successful person i will if i want to buy a bmw i will one day if i want to be a millionaire i will be one day so all the passions all the love for myself so this is how i practice it so this was my way that i wanted to share ma'am yeah that was really nice and it's an amazing way to you know practice in the front of mirror because if you say something to yourself you definitely will achieve it it's really nice okay so now i'm bragging a lot about self love now actually the question comes why self love is the best love that's like you can love anybody else also but why so i think now it's a time to answer the statement that why <laughs> self love is the best love because i'm thinking a lot about love and self love and all these things but why yeah so now i won't be saying many benefits or all the benefits but yeah i will try to list a few benefits so the first is you realize what you want versus what you need you know what happens in this era we actually want to please others and we seldomly forget like what we want and that is why just in the in this race of pleasing the others we actually forget to buy the things or to do the things that we actually need and we did that we want it is a bit complicated but actually it makes sense so when you actually love yourself and you know trust yourself you will understand what is needed and what is just in you know just in this thing just to, to please others 
Then second is you learn the power of self-acceptance and the feeling of being secure of your whole self. So now, as I said that uh, if you forgive yourself, right? So when you forgive yourself, you accept it that yes, I made a mistake. There was a thing, there was a feeling of self-acceptance. If you didn't, you might be, you know, well, you might be, you know, turning away. It's our usual tendency. We'll be like, no, no, I didn't do this. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm perfect. I am very nice. But when actually we practice this thing and when actually we, you know, talk to ourselves and actually, you know, we are like, okay, we trust ourselves. We'll be like, we will forgive ourselves and we will accept this. Like, what is the thing? What we actually are. So the next is you will feel more confidently saying no. So this is also a very, very difficult thing. We usually say yes to each and everything. Like whether it is our personal life or our professional life. In our professional life, we have agreed of that promotion of that, uh, you know, bonus. And we'll be like, yes, yes, sure, sure. Yes, yes. And we'll not say no. So we have to say no. And what happens? It usually, it usually happens with me that I will be like, no, I have to say no. And I will say no. And immediately after that, I'll be like, okay, now I'm in guilt. So I will again contact that person after 15 or 20 minutes. And, you know, I'll say, okay, I will do this work. So because I'm not confident over there, you need to be confident when you're saying no. It's not that you have to say no, you need to be confident also. That is why I said that self-love is the best love. Then the next is you always have someone to lean on. Obviously, when we are upset, we want somebody. Like we want someone to, you know, talk to. Like it's okay. We can't be on our own. We want someone to talk to. And but the worst, this is fine. But the worst thing is when we don't get someone, we are like really upset. We really get depressed. So the best is best thing is that make that someone yourself. It's okay. If nobody is talking to you, talk to yourself. It's okay. You have yourself. And this this uh, picture, I really like this picture. Self love is the greatest medicine. It is true. It is completely true. Whatever happens, if you are going through some trauma, if you are going, if you are really upset, really, it it, it will heal you. If you will accept yourself, you will forgive yourself, and if you will practice this self love, it is actually a greatest medicine. Okay. Up now, a more benefits of self love. The first benefit is greater life satisfaction. As I said that, uh, okay, you will forgive yourself uh, and you will understand that what you want and what you need. All these things will lead to, you know, life satisfaction. You will be really, really satisfied in the life and you will be happy. So I don't think anybody's goal is to be upset in life. Everybody wants to be happy. And here it is actually a path to be, you know, to satisfy that is self-love then second is it can encourage to pick up good habits it actually does you know what happens uh, when we are trying to please others we'll be like we usually pick up bad habits and we are like okay we'll not uh, we'll not do this thing because others are doing this thing so that is why we are also doing it it's not that understand what do you want prioritize yourself and encourage yourself to actually pick up good habits then the next is Self-love is better mental health. Actually, it leads to. I don't, I mean, obviously, mental health is a really, really big issue nowadays. And if you practice this self-love, you will not do this. You will not uh, fall into the trap of this mental health. Also, talking about mental health, on 10th October, we have this uh, National Mental Health Day. And uh, on that day, uh, that... Um, WHO released a few statistics and one of those guidelines were, one of those statistics were, one in every four student slash teenager slash adult suffer from depression or mental health. I mean, that is really bad. Like seriously, one in every four is having some mental issue and 99% of that mental issue is depression. So I think it's the high time that we need to take care about ourselves and our mental health. So this also helps there also there is a small picture that is self-love okay so this is a small flowchart self-love will lead to motivation to have you know 
good habits uh, and to do great work that will lead to self care if we will do all these things if we will have good habits we'll care for ourselves right and that will help us to you know cheer our mood that will tell that will keep us our mood good i think that is the end goal of everybody's life so now the question arises that okay mental health is very nice mental health is very bad and uh, mental health can be avoided by self love but how how to actually practice this self love so i have a few um, you know you can say as i said that it's not a standard or a uniform way for everybody so yeah there is a there are a few or maybe a few can adopt this way also i need i want all of you to promise me something like you are here i am here we are see we all are very busy in our lives if you are here that means you are you know giving some time out of your life some precious time okay i am also taking out some precious time out of my schedule if some other person is you know we are here so for some purpose so let's not just make it only a webinar only just for name sake just promise me something and i firmly believe that you will get benefit out of it first promise i want from each of you is when you start your day you will tell that you know that you are very nice maybe you will tell something really positive to you to yourself then uh, the next thing is say anything for that matter maybe you can uh, stand in the front of mirror you can do anything for that matter but it should be something positive and you have to promise me can i have a promise from any of you that uh, okay you will do this first thing this first one because it is very much necessary yeah yeah okay yeah so the next is fill your body with food and drink that nourishes it and make it thrive as i said that uh, we don't uh, usually you know have this thing that we don't usually eat healthy we usually eat unhealthy okay it is fine if you have your favorite food once in a while but not daily you have to you know have something really really healthy and fill your body with food and drink that nourishes it i mean to say that please eat healthy and you have to promise me that you will not skip the breakfast it happens i'm i myself am the guilty i won't say that i'm the perfect person on this earth and i will i never you know skip my breakfast i myself uh, skip my breakfast and i'm damn sure i'm really sure that many of you skip your breakfast so please take care of yourself and daily really remember this thing you know you have to have your breakfast i learned th- this thing from uh, captain shaker that uh, whenever i used to you know talk to him he was always like okay i will have the food at correct time i really like this thing we all should be like okay we should be ambitious in our life but equally we should take care of ourselves then the next is celebrate your wins no matter how big or small it is there might be a small wins also in your life but celebrate them just give yourself a treat maybe a chocolate or maybe if you do maybe some maybe the movie of your fav- maybe your favorite movie maybe anything anything for that matter or maybe if you don't want to do anything just tap on your back if you did something really great but celebrate your win tell yourself that yes you did really nice celebrate it be happier that day then the next is step outside of your comfort zone and try something new don't always do what you think okay it's very comforting or what you are in comfortable in please step out of your comfort zone and try something new and that will uh, you know that will open up many many opportunities so yeah there are a few uh, promises few things that i want that you guys your guys like please promise me these things you will do at least one or two you will do at least two okay here are four things four statements at least two out of them i won't say that all four you have to do but at least two out of these four you will do whosoever promises me can unmute and say that okay we promise that we will practice at least two please i'm waiting
looks like not no one promises uh ma'am at least i can try maybe <laughs> trying is the first step so okay. yeah i'll give it a shot that's really nice okay now the next now i just talked about that you have to say no literally learn to say no don't think that if we will say no somebody else will judge us no it will not happen prioritize yourself prioritize your work do whatever makes you happy and say no if you can't do it if that things makes you unhappy or maybe depressed or maybe maybe upset or maybe sad just simply say no don't say yes for the sake of pleasing others then is forgive yourself please don't be harsh on yourself or be rude on yourself forgive it write it down keep it in a journal tear it up burn it whatever you need to do let it go i mean okay for those everything i am like okay at least two you can do but for this point i like everybody should do this thing really every everyone of you each one of you just write it in a journal or a diary okay in a notebook for example be it in a, a simple terms we'll talk about okay take out take in a take a notebook and write in a notebook the things that you know makes you unhappy the incidents that scenarios the past moments the thing that okay are not that great just write there and tear that notebook burn it you will feel really nice i know it's very stupid but it really works please give it a shot just try it just try it once not a, i'm not saying okay to waste your register you can you can try it on a two pages you can i think you can try that just write whatever makes you feel bad or makes you feel sad just write that thing on those two pages and then tear it up burn it and then let it go i know it is very stupid but it is effective then next hello. is hello hi ma'am i had a doubt on this yes uh Uh, for me, I have seen that um, I write it. I may tear, tear it down. <laughs> If I write something that's really nice, like the uh, the way I have written it is very nice, I keep it. But then um, I, when I write back, like maybe after one week, if the problem didn't subdue, I tend to write the same thing. So though I write, I tear it off anything. I never felt that uh, benefit of you know this letting it go. I don't know whether it's a personal thing. so i have wondered about this because i write the same content again and again still it's like getting nowhere so <laughs> how does uh, how does we go about with this situation any suggestions i will just say one suggestion that is the just stand in front of mirror when you were writing that no just stand in front of mirror and tell yourself i am writing it for the last time because i am letting it go permanently if you will tell yourself no your mind will get the signals you just trick trick your mind it's okay if we trick our mind i yes, hope ma'am. that helps you yeah thank you just try it once again the writing just try to you know tell yourself that i am writing it for the last time and i'm letting it go permanently and it will it may help you i got i it was effective for me in on the step one itself like to tear it up but i have seen people that actually have written you know multiple times and when they told themselves it actually helped it so yeah try that thank you okay so the next is turn off grab a cup of your favorite drink and sit down for a few minutes on your own as i said that disconnect your mobile phone same thing just grab a you know mug or cup of your favorite drink for example for me it is coffee uh, whenever i am upset whenever i am sad i just grab my coffee mug and i just sit down with the novel in my hand and i don't want tv i don't want mobile i don't want anything i just want my coffee and you know what happens usually i start reading that novel but i you know i am like i stop that and i just drink my coffee and i think about the things that are going bad in my life and as i am talking to myself as i am thinking to me you know to myself like okay what is bad is going on i actually get the solutions 
so please try this thing as well i'm damn sure i'm really sure that you all must drink your favorite you know favorite drink maybe coffee maybe tea or maybe soft drink if you're not old school like me not tea not tea so maybe cold drink but please try just the thing is this cut off all the distractions uh, okay so next is put yourself first as i said that prioritize yourself and see beauty in simple things you don't have to see beauty for seeing beauty you don't have to be like okay it's a big big things there are large large things in a small thing in a small habit in a small thing also you can see beauty you can you can you know raise it and here is a picture that is very very old you might have seen it multiple times and even i have seen it multiple times but i really like it because it actually makes sense and it is so nice i won't do it i am not even looking at this step then when i said i you know i want to do it finally i'm looking over there i mean i really like this thing okay i will try to do i have some energy then i will do it finally more energy and then i said yes i did it like all the things started from here that i you know i want to do it when i said that i want i won't do it i can't do it we were like just you know turning away from this opportunity it was actually a great opportunity for us so don't say that i can't do it or i won't do it just say that i will do it i will try to do it and yeah one day you actually will do it okay so now we are talking about we were talking about that how you can uh, do a few of things first is stop comparing yourself to the others ma'am i have doubt ma'am yeah ma'am suppose uh, if i am uh, going to love myself mm -hmm. then it will not lead to selfishness no no it will not lead to selfishness even actually from the selfish word came i want to say one thing being selfish is actually the key to happiness the word here that we actually think that is not right is self centered you can be selfish but you should not be self centered because a person who is a selfish will think good about others as well but with, but for you know for ourselves also for oneself also but if you are self centered you will be like no only i should do something others so okay fine i i don't care okay, ma'am uh, they can do anything could you elaborate what is the difference between uh, self centered and uh, selfish yeah if you are selfish you might think that uh, okay i am at the top i am at the top and like you know i will be you know far from others i will win but still you have this hope that okay others will also win but still you will think that okay i should be the one who should be winning when you are self centered you are thinking that it is only me and me in this world who should win nobody else so that is why it is fine if you are selfish because you are you are thinking about yourself that is nice but you should never be self centered it's nice if you are thinking that okay i will win but you know others will also win but if you are thinking that only and only i will win nobody else will win i don't care they can do anything that is being self centered and that is wrong and actually i have covered this concept also you have uh, actually arose a very nice uh, you have said a very nice thing for what i said this uh, like selfish thing is isn't self love narcissistic personality disorder yeah ma'am so, i i think so yeah. ma'am <laughs> so i actually want to cover that and want to talk about this in <laughs> just give one actually your question is i think about to come in the next slide or next to next slide yeah, so just Same. one minute yeah i understood okay. that okay thank you ma'am oh, yeah welcome okay so now you have to follow follow these things stop comparing yourself to others stop thinking what that person is doing or what this person is doing we have seen a lot of videos on the youtube on the net sharma ji ka beta don't compare yourself to anybody just you have to do what is best for you and what you can do at your best don't think that okay for example you are giving an examination don't think that i was not able to do perfect just think was i able to do 100% was it the best that i can do if yes then it's okay you don't have to think much 
if you get the answer no you could have done better you have that potential then obviously i will say that you should get sad and you should do better but if you get this voice you know from inside that no actually you should not do much better then it's okay don't compare yourself with others think about yourself only think about what you can do allow yourself to make mistakes never ever think that you won't make mistakes you are perfect don't don't think like this you can make mistakes and forgive yourself on these things then the next is process your fears many times it happens that uh, you know i am afraid of something maybe mm, let's say stage fear okay i have this stage fear i will be like okay i have this stage fear so i will you know pretend that i will not have it i will you know try to avoid it in front of others i will be like no no i won't have stage fear i don't have i am very confident when i see i am very confident don't do like this if you have any fear process that fear accept it yes i have that fear work on it and one day eventually you will be really nice then the next is and very important thing is trust yourself for the good decisions in your life i don't know if it happens with everybody but i believe that this gut feeling is very nice and all the decisions that i have made on the basis of my gut feeling were actually really really nice and successful as well so trust yourself on your decisions okay so now we'll come to the question that was just asked is self love same as a narcissistic personality disorder it usually i'm saying a lot about self love that you have to think about yourself yeah we can think about it like uh, it can be narcissistic personality disorder also so now before before you know saying this if this is same or not i would like to explain what narcissistic personality disorder is to the people who don't know so i will tell this thing uh, with the help of a uh, few images okay so in this thing you can see that this is a narcissistic concept this person over right over here is standing with a crown in his hand and he is like okay i am the best whatever i do this is the best and the other people should are not the or not even good are not even at the same level so they should like you know should go their head in, in front of me the next thing is saying i am a narcissist to save time just admit that i am always you know i am always right and you are i am never wrong actually narcissist people like are, are like these only they are mm, their thinking is i am always right i can never be wrong i whatever i do is the correct thing and i am the i am the person who will do the best thing in this world and also you might be thinking ki yeah it happens so uh, with everybody and we all are like uh, uh, yeah i am right i am right but i will just tell you the extent with the help of this example so uh, okay i myself first of all narcissist person if you ever deal with a narcissist person it's very 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 difficult to deal with that person because that person thinks that you can you know he is like uh, the person is like that whatever do i am correct and every other person has to praise me that is the thing if they won't praise me then i will be depressed then they are wrong this is the you know thinking of narcissist person so from my own experience i'm saying this thing so when i was actually dealing with this person with this person and i told this person that uh, you have a disorder at that moment only that person got really angry because i pointed out that you have something mistake in yourself that is that so to deal with those people are really is really 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 difficult you have to think a lot about it and also to make you understand a little bit more better the extent is if you uh, what to say if you will not uh, if they do anything for example if they do anything for example uh, maybe examination maybe they are uh, speaking something maybe they are advising you anything maybe they are doing anything if you will not if you will not agree to what they say and not only if you what agree if you will not praise them then they will be 
really depressed so that is what nasus people are they that is the extent that is like they are like they this they are at the extreme that self love applies to them as well but that is the extreme so now i would like to uh, okay first of all i would like to ask um, like please unmute yourself tell me or please or you can maybe write in chat box and tell if you are clear with narcissist concept do you know what is npd now narcissistic personality disorder or no just tell that so that i can proceed yes ma'am clear ma'am okay so now we will talk about what is the difference between self love and narcissism see we can easily imagine self love translating into uh, narcissism if it is taken into nas if it is taken into extreme i am saying that you should love yourself love yourself right but if you take it to the extreme that you you know, you know love yourself only and you are like that okay i won't think about anybody else i am the person who is correct i won't i don't care about this world then yes i am i am a narcissist and if this practice continues on and and seriously see uh, i know if this i don't know if this is a, a stupid example or not in what example in self love if elder to if a person elder to me is talking i will be like okay i will still you know love myself but i will listen to that person because of my etiquette because of the manners that person is elder to me but in narcissism if even if a person is elder to you and that person said that you are not correct that person will not even listen narcissist person will not listen narcissist person don't think that you are elder don't think that you are younger they just know one thing i am correct and people have to praise me that is all self love says that it's okay to feel uncertain and about doubt yourself now and then but narcissist says that i'm never wrong i am saying that love yourself but think that okay if i can do it no i can do it this is self love but if you are a narcissist you will be like why to even think i am never wrong i i can i am always right i am the person who is always right whatever i said is the right thing so yeah that is a difference between narcissist and the self love self love and narcissist person is really really correct word to use to actually um you know be clear to announce or to you know imagine that thing is the obsession narcissist people are really obsessed with themselves they really they are really 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 obsessed also self love is self self love is self focused it in that you take care of yourself of what you know of what you think of what you are but when you are a narcissist you will focus on others as well you will you will you know you will be like whatever i am i am but is a other person uh, praising me if not then that person is wrong that is the self love in the language of narcissist person but if you are a normal person and if you are practicing only and only self love you will be like okay i need to develop myself so that i can love myself so this is the difference between self love and narcissist so this is a, there is a very very thin line between the two um, two concepts self love and narcissism but we need to identify that line and we always need to you know remember two three things in our mind that we always need to remember that if a person elder to us or a younger to us telling us something respect that it's not that if a person elder to you telling you something you will neglect it don't think like that in self love if somebody has not praised you it's okay it's more important that you have done everything correct but in narcissistic when you are in narcissism in if you are a narcissist person everybody needs to praise you so yeah this is a very this is a very thin line but yeah these are the few differences between self love and the narcissist and i i really 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 insist you all to love yourself to not to be a narcissist person because they don't have any way to go really any they don't have any way to go okay so now here are a few reminders these these really are the reminders for you 
first is you are enough not the other person you don't want any other person in your life to make you happy you are enough think like that your dreams matter your dreams actually matter on this i want to say that there is a power of big dreams you dream what you actually are you are what you dream so please your dreams matter don't stop dreaming because somebody else said that you can't be you are not able to do it dream third is miracles are natural they are difficult to happen but still they ex- these exist so they are natural authenticity is magnetic so please and please be authentic please be accountable don't right here we again uh, this uh, concept comes of narcissism and self love if you are a narcissist person you will not be authentic you will just love yourself without any logic but if you love yourself you will be authentic because you love yourself with some logic so authenticity is magnetic because people are actually uh, you know magnetic towards the people who are authentic and the last thing last reminder is you have totally got this guys please don't think if you are seriously if you are you know suffering from anything don't think like this ki um, no i will not be able to do it it's very difficult for me no you have totally got this work toward it focus on yourself it is yours you have totally totally got this now there are three lies that i need to stop telling myself and please admit it we all do this thing i am unlovable we do many times this things we say a lot many times but don't do it i don't deserve anyone better we usually say this thing that we don't deserve anyone better but we do because we are the best then if on any situation on on any scenario i am angry i will say i am overreacting no you are not overreacting you are reacting because actually it matters there so this there are the few things and always remember this thing that you have totally got this and if you have any issue <laughs> very nice thank you please if you have any issue or anything if you any doubt for all if ma'am. you ever ever doubt yourself sorry to interrupt ma'am i have any doubt ma'am yeah yes tell me ma'am uh, suppose mm-hmm. uh, in my view ma'am mm-hmm. uh, comparing gives a rivalry and ma'am isn't uh, comparing myself with uh, others is a good thing you are comparing your salary with other person no no salary no ma'am, ma'am suppose uh, if mm-hmm. i have a mm-hmm. role model uh, till model. okay without comparing myself how can i matlab how can i achieve the target or uh, or uh, how can i achieve my goal ma'am a uh, very good question but what happens people people don't compare themselves with their role model they compare themselves with their peers that is the wrong thing you tell uh, me how many sorry, times you sorry, have sorry. done it what I actually happens what actually um, i'm saying that you have um, said a very good thing but what usually happens people don't compare themselves with their role model people compare themselves with their peers you you yourself think how many times have you seen a person i'm not saying about like how many times have you have a person maybe or your friend of yours anybody how many times have you seen that person is comparing you know with his role model or with her role model usually we compare with our peer so actually it is we should come we should actually think that okay this is he or she is our role model but people forget this thing they they compare with their peers which is the wrong okay, thing okay. actually i am uh, taking this context in my in myself in my role model okay okay thank you for okay. answering okay welcome and uh, if you are like only if you are talking about your personal and if you think that uh, you are comparing yourself with the with your role model then uh, i believe that if you have chosen somebody as your role model 
then that person is really really successful and that person has achieved all the things in the life that you want to achieve right so obviously do it it's okay you can compare that you can compare your acts with that person but don't compare with the other person don't compare it with the peers they, that is where it kills your happiness that is where it kills your self confidence so don't do it okay and all uh, so lastly i just want to say that you have totally got this if you have any dream in your life if you have any ambition if you have any passion you have totally got this you will do it trust in yourself okay so lastly i just want to end it now i just want with this quote that you were born to be real not to be perfect you have heard it many a times but i just wanted to remind it to you you were really not born to be perfect you were born to be real so yeah keep this thing in mind and be true to yourself so yeah that is all for my session i'm open to the questions if you have any you guys can i hope i have uh, done justice to the topic and uh, yes and definitely was able to definitely i am very happy with one i am happy with many things but i just want to mention one thing because i always think this thing that sometime after every fight sometime i had uh, that so, sometime i always have uh, different points from captain shaker so i always after the conversation i always i uh, think uh -huh, i think i have overreacted on that topic <laughs> Um, Captain Shikhar also said, "Why you are repeating this thing again and again? You have already told me this thing, and I have heard this thing. Actually, the thing will get implemented." Then after the after the my after the call, I always think I have overreacted. <laughs> so that's a very good point you have mentioned, and I'm very happy with it. And I'm happy with the great presentation and a gigantic thank you for giving an excellent coverage on this topic. And definitely, it is going to help us a lot. And uh, you have covered a very, very, very significant topics related to our lives, how to love ourselves. That is the very, very important thing. And I, uh, on this platform, I really want to tell you one thing that now everybody at this age, I think everybody. Uh, they are falling in love they are having breakups and all they are <laughs> they are all they are messing with their lives they are not happy with their own things so that is the i always think that youth need there is a need to feel that yes i should love myself first i should give priority to myself i am very much important thing and i really think it's a very very good topic and i am really i really want to thanks to captain shaker for this wonderful topic and for the wonderful guest and i really want to thank you for the great coverage of this topic thank you so much thank you so much for having me and as you said that everybody should love ourselves